These drops of milky white latex mark the beginning of an incredible journey. From the vast green rubber plantations to the everyday products we use, the journey of latex is a perfect example of how nature and modern technology work together to change the world. Let's explore. The rubber tree, or Hevea brasiliensis, is indispensable to the rubber industry. After six to seven years of careful cultivation, these trees provide a valuable raw material, latex, also known as rubber sap. The collection of latex requires skilled workers to ensure the tree is not harmed throughout its life cycle. Each day, latex tappers must rise early to enter the rubber plantation. Their work requires utmost precision. Using a specialized knife, they make gentle diagonal cuts along the rubber tree's trunk, only touching the outer bark without damaging the inner wood. These cuts are made at a specific angle to allow the milky latex to flow easily into a small trough attached beneath the tree from where it is collected into containers. After harvesting, the latex is transported to the processing plant. The latex processing step is crucial in transforming rubber sap into useful products we use daily. At the plant, latex undergoes several processing stages to ensure the best quality for the final product. First, the latex is filtered to remove impurities that may affect its quality. Then, the latex is condensed, removing excess water to create a thicker latex that can be molded and used for various products. In addition to being used in household products, rubber plays a crucial role in the transportation industry. Tires are one of the most common rubber products and require intricate processing steps. The tire production process begins with mixing natural rubber with synthetic rubber 
and various additives such as reinforcing agents, anti-wear compounds, and other chemicals. This mixture is processed in industrial mixers to create a uniform material with high strength and abrasion resistance. Next, the rubber mixture is formed into thin sheets, which are then cut and shaped to fit the various parts of the tire, such as the tread, sidewall, and inner liner. These parts are assembled together to form the tire's shape. Then the tire is placed in a curing oven to undergo vulcanization. This process strengthens and enhances the elasticity of the rubber, enabling the tire to withstand high temperatures and heavy impacts during use. Finally, the tire undergoes rigorous quality control checks, including tests for durability, abrasion resistance, and safety. Once it meets the required standards, the tire is packaged and ready to be shipped to retailers and repair shops. Rubber is not only found in the automotive industry, but also plays an important role in creating high-quality rubber mattresses. Natural latex mattresses are known for their durability, elasticity, and excellent antibacterial properties. The production of latex mattresses begins with creating latex foam. First, latex is mixed with foaming agents and other additives to create a special mixture. This mixture is poured into molds and left overnight to form soft, elastic mattress sheets. Once the latex sheets are formed, they are cut to the appropriate size and wrapped in high-quality fabric. The latex mattresses are then tested for quality to ensure they meet standards for durability and breathability. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any other fascinating stories about different industries. See you in the next video.